Hello and welcome to Southern Perspective. My name is Julius Kizzy, bringing you the latest news from the University of Southern Mississippi. Imagine breathing through a straw for as long as you can remember not being able to live a full life. Cystic fibrosis affects more than 30,000 people in the United States, but being in a relationship with someone with it can be even more troubling. And then from here, I'm stuck here until I'm finished. Most people don't even realize I have CF, which is what I want. Like, I don't want them to... You know, look at me differently, treat me differently, just go out through my day. And my What I do in my f spare time at home might be different with, from what they do, but, I mean, that's my business. He seemed very relaxed about it, but I was trying to keep cool, but it actually was kind of um, disheartening to see it because I didn't realize how serious this disease was and that this is something that he has to go through daily. Cystic fibrosis affects over 30,000 Americans, and most in the states do not even know that they may be carriers of the sickness. It affects my lungs, it affects uh, my ability to breathe, my, my digestive system, uh, and as well as my immune system. But because of the mucus, it really, uh, over a long run, deteriorates. Uh, my ability to breathe. Jonathan Lowler is a carrier of 23 years, adjusting to life on the fly with his girlfriend, Jordan Lang. He craves, so he craves salt, and oh. he will salt the heck out of everything. It was not always easy for Jordan to embrace CF. At first, she thought it could be contagious. After all, the sickness affects all of your mucus producing glands, making it hard to breathe through the simplest task. I had no idea what CF was, and so I went home and I had to Google it, and I was like, what is, what is CF? And it scared me, you know, looking at the things online, how, you know, you might live to be max 37 years old. It was really terrifying, and it was something that I had never seen before. Jonathan wakes up every morning and... I, I get done with this, I'm very sore. Like, my ribs hurt. Jordan is not the only one who helps with motivation and getting him going. Steve Richards, one of the oldest living Mississippians with cystic fibrosis at 53, is one of his biggest inspirations. When he doesn't want to keep up with his treatments, because sometimes I can say all the day long, you need to do your vest, you need to um, do your nebulizer, but he won't do it until I call Papa Steve, and then he calls Jonathan, and then Jonathan knows that it's serious. Papa Steve, as he calls him, believes that he can't live his life in fear. What's the point of being here if, if you're just existing because then you're not enjoying life, you're not doing anything? Jonathan took the next step in his treatment, not on a machine, but during a 5K in honor of Papa Steve. If you allow it to mentally affect you, then yes, it will become something negative in your life. But it's like anything else, you got to turn it into a positive. Though his next step may be his last, he knows that it's all worthwhile. Jonathan takes several medications a day, including eight, just to have a bite to eat. But to him, it's just routine. It's very hard to get it all done and still have a social life, still actually do, do other things with my life and just focus on my treatments. Gotta do this, gotta do that. Gotta make sure I have time to do everything I need to do uh, with my medication and everything. Jordan sees the ins and outs of breathing properly and not taking any day for granted. This is hard to watch somebody that you love so deeply go through something so hard and I do consider myself a fixer and that's a hard thing because you know this isn't something that I can fix this isn't something that I can alleviate for him. Most people with CF don't make it to the age of 33 and Jordan realizes that one day he's here the next he could be gone but she would not have it any other way. To me like one day with Jonathan is so valuable like every minute I spend with him is so important to me and I would rather be with Jonathan for the next 12 years than be with somebody until I'm 70 and be unhappy. They both are looking forward to many more days ahead one breath at a time. Thank you for watching the Southern Perspective. My name is Julius Kizzy and I'll see you next week.